All right, real quick, this is the setup we're gonna use. Obviously, I'm gonna use the solar power bank. If you see me using power at all on my channel, just know it's all from this because I'm gonna use the sun as much as I can. But anyways, so we have our ISDT hooked up to it, so we're gonna set this to one cell, 10 amps, that's probably fine. That's it, so we're charging. Connections are good. So yeah, we're just gonna let this charge up until they're full. And like I said, we're gonna hook them all up, slap a BMS, uh, build a case for them, and we'll do some more testing from there. All right guys, I'm still top balancing these cells. It's been a few days now. I got these already done. I'm gonna take this BMS off this little experimental headway pack I built, which this is gonna be in a different video. Um, but I'm gonna steal the BMS off it for now because I only have one four cell BMS left And I'm gonna take this piece of MDF and we're gonna take it to the table saw I'm gonna clean the edge up here cut this in half in order to make a front and a back Because we'll put one piece here and one piece on the other side of the four cells put something in the middle just to put a tiny bit of compression on here kind of like I did with this pack because I don't think it matters with these kind of cells But just in case it does I want to build an enclosure anyways that way I can have this as one singular pack put the BMS on it and just make this a working battery. So then we can do a capacity test. So I'm gonna get the table saw out. We're gonna get it all set up outside and we'll go ahead and get cutting. All right, so here are our pieces that go like that. So these are gonna go like that and then I'm gonna cut more pieces to go here and here. And that's it, we'll screw it all together and then to get the compression I would desire, I'm gonna put a little bit of foam so I don't think these need a whole lot of compression, like I said before, but I'm going to give it just a little bit just to be safe. I don't want these to swell or do anything crazy, so. Oops. All right, I got four pieces. One of them kind of got chewed up, but that's fine. So we'll put this one at the top. That's it. Very simple. We're just going to do one of these. Very carefully drill. This drill bit is crap, isn't it? Oh, kind of works. Oh, that's almost perfect. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, it's pretty nice. Still got a little bottom, I guess, huh? Yeah, let me see if I can find something to put at the bottom real quick.
comfortable. They fit in there really nice. Like I said, I'm not going to compress them, but I just don't want them to move around. I don't think you have to compress these type of cells. It could be wrong, but I don't think you do. I do think they can swell. I think I've uh, heard they can do that. I don't know. I'm going to try to squeeze them in there. Actually, if anything, I'm going to put the end cap on, pull it out, put a piece of foam, and then you can stick them back in to kind of shim them together if I want them tighter. But I think for now, I'm going to do this. to do this side. Oh, beans. All right, guys, so here we are. We got our cells put in. Uh, once again, these are Ali Express 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate cells. So now we're gonna put the bus bars on. We're gonna mount the BMS here, get it all wired up. Maybe I'm gonna add some handles to help carry this, but that's it. So this is now a complete battery. So pretty nice. I'm uh, I'm really happy with this. Let me know your thoughts. But I'm gonna get the BMS slapped on, and that's it. We'll get this thing wired up. What's up, guys? Mike builds here. We're back with our AliExpress battery. So we're gonna slap the battery up here, get the BMS put on, get the balancing cable put on, and hook up the Bluetooth, and see if it works. All right, guys. So we got our AliExpress. Cells balanced or top balanced. So now we're gonna hook up the BMS. We're gonna be using a Dally 200 amp, 250 amp BMS. We got the balance cable right here. So we just gotta crimp on the little ends and then we're gonna screw this to the side of the box, wire it all up, hot glue the Bluetooth dongle on there, and then hook up to the phone to make sure it works. So, out of the way. But first, I'm gonna get these all crimped on. I'll get all that off camera and then we're gonna hook it all up. All right, got our zip tie, or got our BMS and all that on. Now we're gonna zip tie all this up. Take our meter. Yeah, we can see that, so we're gonna see if we have power. So negative. Thirteen point two three. Now we're gonna open the app and look at it in the app. Okay, so there's our BMS. I think it's this one. No, oh, I don't think it's the other one. Yes, there it is. We're at 13.2 volts. See all the cells? 3.38, 3.24. So they're kind of unbalanced. They're really unbalanced. So I need to go ahead, go ahead and get this thing balanced up and go from there. So I didn't finish completely top balancing it, but we're gonna kind of continue from here. And once I get the battery fully balanced, we're gonna reset, we're gonna fully charge it, reset the state of charge, put the Anderson cable like I was telling you guys, and then we can put this thing into service. So. I think I'm going to use this for a portable power bank, but for now, we're probably going to put it in with the other stuff and add another, I don't know, 2,000 watt hours of capacity, so that's pretty good. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video, so in the next video, we're going to do a bunch of testing on this thing and see how close we get to the rated capacity.
because like I said, these are Chinese U cells from AliExpress and they're about 430 bucks. So we're gonna see if I got ripped off or if these are actually worth a crap and if you should buy them. So that's gonna do it. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and that's gonna be it.